Hi folks, good morning. I thought today I would do a little day in the life vlog for you. So uh, it is Tuesday morning. It is about nine o'clock and yes, I'm still in my pajamas in my bed. I'm just having my first cup of coffee. Uh, I am not a morning person and my husband is fantastic. He's currently working from home full time because of the pandemic. And even before that, he would take on the morning routine with the kids. So he fixes them breakfast. He brings me coffee in bed, lets me take my time waking up. And since we're homeschooling and things have not yet really got started, and I can explain that later, <laughs> uh, we're still kind of in summer mode a little bit, uh, but that will change quite a bit today. We are finally going to be able to pick up materials today. So I am going to just take you along with me throughout my day and you'll just kind of get to see what my life looks like a little bit. So I hope you are ready for that. I'm going to sip my coffee here, wake myself up and get the day started. So I thought I would do a little story time while I get ready to go pick up our school materials. Um, and let me just preface this by saying that there is, I have all the grace in the world for educators and teachers right now. I was just texting with one of my college roommates who is a fourth grade teacher and she was just expressing how hard things are right now. And uh, so I love teachers. I love educators. And they are doing the impossible. I mean, and parents are also experiencing frustration. Just it's this is impossible for everyone. And uh, let's just acknowledge that right up front. Uh, but so we, as you know, we are homeschooling this year and we are doing it through the charter school um, with the district our like our normal school district where we, in normal times we would be at the public school and so they've had some technical issues with their communication system and I guess they did not anticipate the response they would have for homeschool uh, because they are way, way, way under staffed for like the educational consultants that we meet with every two weeks, um, to, you know, get the curriculum and check in and make sure that we're on track for all of the state standards and all of that. Um, and so they've had to hire like substitutes and assign families substitute teachers or educational consultants for that, which, okay, I mean, I appreciate that they're trying to do something, I don't know, how much they can really be helpful. And so far, they've not had a lot of information. Uh, last Wednesday was supposed to be the first day of school, and with the communication system down between parents and teachers, there was no information coming in, so... It came and went. Thursday night, we did get a call from our substitutes, one for each kid, you know, which again, we are really hoping to be able to have one teacher for the two of them because uh, they're 13 months apart in age, but technically because of Adelaide's birthday, they should be two years apart in school. We are hoping to kind of use this year of homeschool as uh, kind of in our favor to get her through both the TK and kindergarten curriculum so that we can get her into first grade next year when Milo goes to second grade and get them one year apart in school as well. We want to try to 
synergize, forgive me for using that word, uh, their curriculum as much as possible and just, because I think it is pretty possible with just where they are at educationally each and um, just because they're so close in age. So anyway, all that to say, we are hoping for one teacher for the both of them. Um, and so we got two separate calls from two separate substitute teachers on Thursday to set up meetings for Monday, which was yesterday. Like virtual meet and greet type things. And they said they would email with how that was going, how those meetings were actually going to happen. Well, as far as I could tell, I never received those emails. Turns out Sunday, I finally thought, hey, maybe I should check my spam. And sure enough, emails from both substitutes were in my spam folder. And we were told, oh, you need to pick up materials on Tuesday. And we thought, well, okay, but we've not met with anybody. Are we still supposed to pick up materials? We don't know what we're supposed to do with them. Turns out, yes, so that's what we're doing today. So we got that email from my daughter's substitute and then almost immediately, I remember all this was in my spam and I didn't see it till Sunday night, but almost immediately, also Friday evening, her substitute called or emailed and said, just kidding, this is too much, I quit. So now my daughter doesn't have even a substitute and the meetings that were supposed to be scheduled for yesterday uh, were rescheduled for later in the week. So that is where we stand. I did get an email from the principal of the charter school saying once they get permanent certified teachers hired, they will make sure that Milo and Natalie have the same teacher. So that was encouraging. And then we did get another email from Milo's substitute last night that while didn't really have much information, was a bit more reassuring that she is um, trying to be proactive in getting information for us. And so that's kind of where we're at with school right now. Um, it's extremely frustrating, but I also know that it's very frustrating for them. And um, we are just trying to do, as my mother says, and as Anna from Frozen, by the way, my mother has been saying this my entire life, so long before Anna ever sang it in Frozen, but just do the next right thing. And so that is what we do. The next right thing that carries us all the way home, wherever home needs to be. So that is where we are. So I'm going to finish my makeup and... Then I think we're going to drive on over to the school, mask up, drive to the school, pick up materials, and then I will be able to hopefully start discerning some semblance of a plan for school this year. Hopefully I can come up with a schedule for us. So that is that. So we just got back from picking up the kids supplies materials uh, as we anticipated it's just a bunch of worksheets but it uh, also does give us kind of some information about how uh, this is supposed to work how we're supposed to use the worksheet so that's great we have a place to start now I just need to go through and kind of make a game plan for the next I don't know 
week, two weeks. I don't know how long this is really supposed to last us yet, but we'll see. So that is excellent. Anyway, I am going to sit down and go through this stack of paperwork, see if I can come up with a game plan and maybe do some editing. Here's our Luna girl sitting at my feet. Say hi, Luna. Hi, Luna. Our sweet Luna love good. There she is. There's our girl. Hi. Hi, puppy. I did my dishes for today. Oh, I thought I would show you. My stickers finally came. And so I did end up planning it this week. And this is what it ended up looking like. And I realized I didn't ever actually tell you what I used my liner for, but I do, I highlight this section here and then I use it for my check circles. That's where I check off my to-do list. So and actually I can fill in a couple things here for today. Yeah. So, awesome. Now I'm just gonna do some work. All right, so I uh, just got done editing tomorrow's video and it is currently uploading. And I have about 30 minutes until I have a therapy call. And so I think I'm gonna finally get to work on that paperwork right there which I haven't really jumped into yet because I was editing so I'm gonna do that and then by the time I'm off with my therapy call it should be time for dinner so that's kind of the update right now so yeah let me get to it I got done with therapy and that was fantastic it usually is I love my therapist and I really love therapy 
if you're not in it and you can, I highly recommend it, even if you think you don't need it. Therapy is fantastic. Now that that's done, I'm going to pull out my homeschool planner finally and start trying to fill some stuff in there for the kids. Uh, and go through that, those stacks of worksheets and stuff some more. Kind of figure out and get a handle on that. And hopefully my husband will be done with work soon and we can have dinner and move on with our evening. All right, so it's 8.45 at night and we have a dinner, read stories with the kids, put them to bed, and I am working on our budget now, just kind of checking in with it. And then we decided that we are in fact going to start school tomorrow. Just do a few little things that that means I need to decide which of the things we're going to do tomorrow. So that is how I'm going to end my evening and I am going to wrap this day in the life vlog up here. I don't know. This is my first vlog ever. So who knows? I think it went okay. I kind of lost my way there in the evening, but that's okay. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Give me a thumbs up if you feel so inclined and I will see you soon. Bye.